It was a big Santa Fe strong showing tonight at the high school's first football game since a deadly mass shooting back in May. Even some Houston Texans turned out to show their support. Our Sally Mamdu live at Indian Stadium and Sally, they dedicated this game to a player who was killed in that shooting. Yes, number 54, Chris Stone. He's among the 10 people that was killed during the shooting. And even though they didn't win, as you can see right behind me here on the board, but still, tonight's game wasn't about winning or losing, about a community coming together and healing together. Packed bleachers, cheerleaders, and then adrenaline-ready players. This is Santa Fe High School's first game of the season, a typical scene across Texas towns. But this isn't your average Friday night football game. Lots of mixed emotions. Andrea Moore's son is a senior. He's a linebacker. Just like the entire team, he's missing his brother Chris Stone, who's among the 10 people killed during May 18th school shooting. So I know um, the boys are going to come out and play with their hearts tonight for Chris that can't be here with them. This game is just another piece of healing for the broken community. Everybody wants everybody to get back to normal. See what normalcy is us playing football. On the sideline. This time around, the pros. Texans center Greg Maines and defensive end Chris Covington. They were here after the tragedy happened, and they are here strengthening the bond they built. We just really wanted to focus on, you know, the resiliency of this football team to see how well they've overcome and how they've come together. But behind this team is an entire town cheering them on. They're going to need emotional support, they're going to need spiritual support, and we're just out here to, to help where we can and show that we're behind them 100%. Green and gold and white, 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 white. Huh. And I spoke to Chris Stone's mother off camera tonight. She was actually here today cheering the team just like everybody in the town of Santa Fe, and she tells me while it's tough for her to watch this football team without her son on there, she knows that he's here in spirit.